Hello my fellow full of the Samurai Blast, the Rip here. And this is a third game of uh, fi of the finals of Gerudo Flash Tournament number 22. And it's played by Blixery and Sprint on Jikugudani Valley. Let's take a look at compositions of our players. Blixery have Miller Rush build. He has 3 Shogitai, 3 Spear Levy, 2 Vanilla White Beers, 1 Black Beers, uh, 4 Highly Vetted Yari Ki and 1 Shugnut Guard Cavalry. Uh, now Sprint have uh, line heavy compositions, 3 Vanilla Imperial Infantry, 1 Imperial Infantry with um, 2 Reload upgrades, um, <laughs> United States Marines, uh, 4 Yariki, 1 Shugnut Guard Cavalry and 1 Boki. So it seems like he have either he resetted uh, um, veterans or he has uh, 2 uh, level 9 Bokis. His general are something between Gun and um, Bushido Gen and for Blixery it's the same. Something between Gun and Bushido. And on this map, I prefer melee builds on this map, but line can certainly work, uh, work if you use it right. And uh, like on the previous map, on Kawaba River, uh, it's uh, quite important uh, to get uh, high ground with your cavalry. So let's take a look on how our players will play this out. Blixery decided to split his forces on two and uh, uh, get uh, on two ridges at the same time. Boki already got two kills, nice. And actually bows uh, can be quite good on this uh, map if you can stale the game. Uh, you can shoot uh, from behind the ridge uh, without being afraid of his uh, of opponent's line. But I don't like how um, Sprint plays this. He's against uh, Miller Rush, uh, and uh, he he didn't take any ridges. I mean, uh, if you allow your opponent to attack you from two sides, downhill, uh, it will be quite hard to um, to stop this rush, and uh, he's allowing Blixery to freely flank him from both sides. I don't like this, because on this ridge uh, line units uh, work uh, quite well. And here not so well. And Blixery does exactly that, he slowly pushes this uh, ridge and uh, there is no way that uh, Sprint can stop him using cavalry alone. I don't like uh, this play. Well, probably he tries to do something uh, like uh, he done in the previous game on Osaka, uh, on Kawaba River, where he managed to exchange uh, his cavalry. Uh, he Sprint had a uh, weaker cavalry, but he managed to get a nice exchange, which won him the game. And maybe here he tries uh, to do something like this. Uh, he wants Blixery to... Um, open his uh, rear and he want to hit it. Uh, Sprint want to hit uh, this Miller Rush from the back. No engagement, still no, no engagement. And you see what's happening. Uh, as time passes Blixer actually getting better position and Sprint gets nothing. Now Sprint will take some bullets here and he misses this. This is a huge micro mistake. Two ma uh, he missed two charges. Well, uh, this one wasn't clear, but first charge uh, get uh, Blixer 20 men for 8. And now cavalry fight starting, but uh, the spear slavery uh, nearby. I think this will go to Blixer uh, as time goes. And here, maneuvering this United State actually, uh, Sprint got his line into nice position. 
and uh, decimated this white beard. So this rush coming unprepared. He uh, Blixer does not have a uh, shield for this Shogi ties. Uh, he already got two units routed. Uh, but at the same time, he's closing from other side. Uh, sprint uh, charges his bulky to stop uh, Shogi Tai. Uh, and here, you know, look at this uh, spiral area. They are. Oh no no no! First, let's do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Blake's are th second game in a row he loses his general. Yes, it is. <laughs> Look at this spear levy. Nine kills. Because of this uh, mess, this spear levy didn't actually get to the cavalry of sprint. And let me stop the sound. This uh, this is quite important. You don't... Uh, what Sprint did, because uh, he was managing this front and because everything was uh, a mess, he should... Uh, he had two cavalry units, which he could uh, have used to flank and hit uh, from other side. Because when you blow up your cavalry and any melee... I, I'm not uh, good with melee units in this game, but if you blow up the pump, you use them ineffectively. They will be much more effective you can, if you can uh, uh, get uh, surrounding. And not only because of, uh, of how surrounding affect morale, but because more of your men will be in the fight at the same time. Look at this Spear Levy. They are all out of the fight. Uh, they could have won Blixer this fight much faster, but they can't get to the enemy. So he cannot use them. Okay, uh, now I get rid of my phone uh, and let hope into the action again. Uh, so sprint manage. Well, mostly he get rid of uh, rushing forces on uh, his left flank, but now on his right flank, uh, his United States Marines are doomed. But it's not particularly bad. With these forces, Sprint can actually kite and uh, win, but this will decide the game. Uh, all of cavalry forces of Sprint uh, dead. And uh, now uh, Blixer have uh, two cavalry units for back charging this uh, Imperial Infantry. Let's look at this. This Shogita is wavering. Spear Levy wavering. This Shogita is wavering. Your men are routing, sir. And suddenly... It's over for Sprint. That's how devastating uh, back charge can be. Not only this uh, Yaruki uh, helped the uh, morale of Shogita, but they hit the uh, morale of this line units uh, very hard. And they made it impossible for Sprint uh, to kite. He could have tried it, but this game was done uh, when he lost his cavalry and uh, Blixer still had two Shogi Ties alive. Overall, I think maybe Sprint had some plan with his cavalry. Maybe he was trying uh, to do something like hammer an anvil. <laughs> between his line and his cavalry. I don't know, but generally I don't like this play on uh, Jiko Kudani Valley. I think I think you shouldn't be that passive with your line because if you give up both ridges, it's done for you most of the cases. Well, congratulations for Blixery with his uh, first uh, Geruda Flash uh, champion title. And I hope this match, is, this match was interesting for you, because I certainly learned something, as usual. And I hope to see you again on our tournaments and on my channel. Have a good day!